Alright everyone, welcome along to AFC Game by Game and in this video I haven't really got anything that I want to discuss particularly, not really a topic at hand at that matter, but really I felt that following the game against Liverpool, the 0-0 draw and generally just how we've started this season, having been such an average start to the season, given that this isn't the first time Arsenal performed like this at the start of a new campaign, I just felt that there was just generally some discussions to be had around how we've started the season and also how we're doing in the transfer market and whether or not this team is ready to compete for uh, a title winning spot. And also, I mean, what is the change within the club? I think that's the real main po talking point that I want to discuss. And I think a lot of people know what is to change in terms of the squad and how we should be lining up in games. But I mean, the mentality as well of how uh, we should be going into games. And that Liverpool game really echoed a lot of what went wrong for us. Um, for the start of this season, also for periods last season, the arrogance, the demeanour that we go into these games with, thinking that we're sometimes better than the opposition. And I think Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher and Thierry Henry on Monday Night Football, they explained it really well, just the problem with Arsenal. At times I do disagree with what they say, but they mentioned the uh, the one thing I want to focus on especially is the midfield pivot that we've got in front of the defence at the moment. Cazorla and Coughlin absolutely ran right at the Etihad last season. It looked really good for periods of our, of our campaign and it was really uh, pivotal to our success, should I say, last season. But this season, it doesn't really seem to be working for us. And I think maybe that's because Cazorla is getting that little, old, little bit older. I do think Ramsey needs to be put into that position. I think he'll be a million times more effective in that role and possibly he'll oust Cazorla in that position, which I would hope he would given his age and given how much he can offer to the team and how prolific he was in that in that role when he played there a couple of seasons ago and he got about 20-odd goals for us. So definitely I want to see Ramsey playing in that role and possibly give Cazorla a little bit of respite. Francis Coughlin is a prolific figure in the Arsenal team. He's a dominant figure, the guy that can boss the midfield. And I kind of disagree with what Gary Neville Thierry etc. had to say about having a powerhouse in midfield, someone like Schneidlin, someone like Vieira, someone like Petit, because I don't think you need that in the modern game so much. When we go to places like Stoke, etc., when we come up against big players like John Walters, those kind of calibre of players, it is going to be difficult for us physically, but I think that we've got the technical ability to get around these players at times. Uh, I think Coughlin is the physical presence that we need. He's not the tallest bloke, he's not the biggest bloke, but he's very stocky. He knows how to put a tackle in, and it's not just all about physical presence in the game anymore. It's a very, very technical side, uh, side to it, which is becoming more and more evidenced as each game goes by. I do think that we do need more bigger players. I mean, the biggest player that we've really got in the squad is Mert, Saka and Giroud. And apart from that, I can't really think of too many big players that we've got in the squad, especially in that midfield. You look beyond uh, Coughlin and... There's no real height within the team. I mean, Coglin's not the tallest bloke himself, but you've got Cazorla, you've got Ramsey, you've got Ozil, and you've got Alexis Sanchez, who are playing behind Olivier Giroud in front of Coughlin, and neither of those have really got any height. So I can understand where Neville's coming from in saying that we're not particularly going to boss midfield games. And I would like to see us bringing someone like Bender, or that Polish guy, I can't pronounce his name, uh, in the transfer window, but just as I'm saying that, the, the guy uh, from Sevilla, I'm not going to even try and bother pronouncing his name, but he has just confirmed that he's going to be staying at Sevilla. So him and Benzema have both uh, just drowned our sorrows recently um, in saying that they're going to be staying at their respective clubs, which, you know, not much we could do about that. It's our fault that we're in this position where we've got to go out there and buy a midfielder. But we do need something like a kind of bulk, bulkier player in midfield just so we've got an alternative, alternative option. Coughlin's great, and I think he'll be that long-term option for us. But we do need something else in the midfield. Up front, that's where the big problem is for us. And the reason why we play so poorly against Liverpool, I think, is because we've got so many of the same player going forward. Ramsey, Ozil, Alexis Sanchez, Cazorla, uh, Bar Alexis Sanchez, they're all very similar players and they're all trying to get into the same positions. For 10, 15 minute spells of that second half and the first half as well, and especially what we did against West Ham, dilly dallying around the box with no end products. We're very pretty to watch but we don't produce anything at the end of it because no one has a pop shot. And the worrying thing is, none of those players drive a defensive bar, possibly Cazorla, you could say, who dribbles really well, but he doesn't exactly drive to the extent that someone like Chamberlain or Jack Wilshere does. And they're the players, I think, are integral to what this squad could do. And you've got players like Ramsey, who's performing on the right-hand side, doing a decent job, but not a great job. If we had someone like Chamberlain there, we'd be so much more prolific going forward. We'd have more options. You've got someone like Alexis Sanchez, who can not only play really well on the wing, but can cut inside as well, do the kind of stuff that Aaron Ramsey does. You've got someone like Chamberlain on the right who's going to bomb down that flank. And then you've got Ozil in the middle who's laying these players off. Ozil's not a player that's going to dribble at players. He's going to caress a lovely pass off. He's going to be very subtle in his approach. And you can't expect the type of Wilshire-esque performance from him. He's not a workhorse is basically what I'm saying. I think it would be wrong to expect that from him going into this season. But what I've just mentioned, playing Chamberlain on the right-hand side 
is practically what I think everyone is expecting to see going into that game against Newcastle. And Ramsey on that right flank, as much as I respect Ramsey, he can't play there. And sacrifices have to be made between Ozil, Kazula and Ramsey. They're all fantastic players, but one of them has to be dropped because, you know... It, they can't all work together. You're wasting pretty much all of those players because you're not getting the best out of all of them. Ozil hasn't got runners beyond him by Alexis Sanchez. And then you've got someone like Ramsey who just can't isn't a right winger, so he shouldn't be there in the first place. And Kazula's playing far too deep than he should be if he's going to get the best out of himself. And I, th I just think we need to avert to having Ramsey in the midfield, having Chamberlain on the right-hand side. And like I say, Ozil through the middle. And you would hope that Giroud would get more goals in as he'd be getting a bit more service. But I took to Twitter to get your thoughts on, uh, on basically the Arsenal scenario and the plans that I, I would like to think uh, are going to change going into that game against Newcastle. So thanks to everyone again that tweeted in. My Twitter is, is at simplycookie underscore. Um, make sure to follow me if you want to get involved in these videos, as I mentioned time after time. But the first tweet that I've got in, by the way, I've got loads of these and prepare for some that are really the same because uh, I think a lot of people know what needs to change within the club going into the game at St. James's Park on Saturday. But the first one from at Double D Ravioli is drop Cazorla, put Ramsey in the middle, and Ox on the right. And the next one from Sydney Okafor underscore is Ramsey on the wing and instead put in Ox. And the next one from at Kyle underscore Ares says to start with Alexis and Chamberlain on the wings and Theo up front. And the next one from at G Flintum says Ox for Ramsey and the Polish guy who I just mentioned it probably isn't going to come to us in the centre along with Coughlin for the big game to tie it up. Completely agree with that, but I think a more realistic option at the moment would be, would be someone like uh, Lars Bender, who could play along, alongside Coughlin when we go to places like Old Trafford, when we go to places like the Etihad. Great, uh, great suggestion there. At Amazing Muzzet says, sign a better striker and play the Oxmoor. Don't understand why he's not starting. At Jams98 underscore says, Wenger needs to sign a world-class striker and possibly a CDM. Ramsey needs to be benched and Chamberlain needs to play on the right. And at for Danny underscore Mian says, Kazula, Ramsey and Ozil can't play in the same team. Needs balance with Coughlin, Bender, Wanyama and a world-class striker. And I'm going to leave it there with the tweets, but so many people tweeted and saying the same thing, which I completely agree with. Everyone is bang on that Chamberlain needs to be starting the game and Ramsey needs to be put back into the middle if we're going to have any balance within the squad. Or if you're not going to do that, continue to play Kazula in that pivot alongside Kazula, inside alongside Coughlin, should I say, and uh, then have Chamberlain on the right, just so we've got more balance within the squad. So we've got a more balanced team and hopefully the results and the performances will follow through from there. But that's really what needs to change if we're going to be uh, a title contending squad, which at the moment we're not. Because at the moment it's been very average and this start of the season has been poor. It's been frustrating. We're five points off the pace, as I mentioned in the uh, Liverpool review the other day. And uh, it annoys me that we're, we're playing catch-up yet again because we shouldn't be. The pre-season was so, so good. And it's annoying that um, teams are starting to suss us out already into the season, just defend against two banks of four. Newcastle, if they do what they did against United last weekend, against us this Saturday then you know, we're not going to get a goal because they just defended two banks of four. Our creativity, creativity will be nullified and we'll be playing 10, 15 minute spells outside the Newcastle box with no end product, which I would hope is changed in this game. I hope we start. I hope we see Chamberlain start. I hope Gabriel gets a bit more game time because uh, he was fantastic in the game against Liverpool. I'd like to think that him and Koscielny are going to be our long-term partnership this season because he was absolutely immense. And, yeah, I hope things change from here. I really do hope that we get our form back up and running. I mean, if we get seven points from 12 games going into the international break, it's not great. It is pretty average. It's pretty mediocre. I don't want a season of mediocrity, but at least it'll be more than half the points that we could have got. And uh, we could, we could, we've could, we got to look at the positives, come back from the international break and go on a run of form because our September is so incredibly difficult. We've got Spurs away in the cup, we've got Chelsea away, we've got Leicester away, we've got Stoke at home, not to mention Champions League matches. And then at the start of October, we've got... We've got Man United, so it's not an easy run for us. And we've already started the season haphazardly, and we can't afford to drop loads of points in those games. We can't go through, continue to go through a bad patch because we'll just lose every single one of those games, quite frankly, if we play how we did against Liverpool. So we've got to get the points on the board. I want to see more confidence within the team, and hopefully... We can get this season up and running, as I've said, in, for about the sixth video in a row now. But hopefully this will be where things change, because that Liverpool game just evidenced everything that uh, needs to change within the squad. But anyway, guys... Those are my thoughts on that. Leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to AFC Game by Game. Follow me on Twitter at SimpleCookie underscore. Like my Facebook page. All that good stuff. I'll speak to you very soon.